Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we have a Sephora haul try on video. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. All right guys, so I just wanted to try out and play with some of the new makeup that I recently picked up from Sephora as well as Pat McGrath. Uh, I always think these videos are fun. I love watching hauls, but I also love watching the try on. So today we're actually going to be using the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction palette on the eyes. And I've already primed with my trusty Milani eyeshadow base and I've set it down with my CoverGirl powder that is in my Project Pan. I'm not 100% sure which way I want to go, but I do think I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to take that in the crease while I kind of figure out what I'm doing. I almost think I want to do, ooh, that is pigmented, okay. So I was thinking maybe a halo eye, but maybe not. This is uh, really pigmented, okay. That was like one and a half dips into the pan, that's, that's very impressive. Okay, I'm just going to take that darker shade. And I do think we're going to do a halo eye. I am going to be really careful with this shade, though. I learned from the first one. These are very pigmented. These two browns are kind of reminding me of the browns that are in the Celestial Odyssey palette from the holidays. And the quality certainly seems to be the same. I will say the packaging of the motherships, it is definitely so luxurious. And when I initially pulled these out of the box and they finally got delivered. I pulled them out of the box and it was just, this sounds super dramatic, but it, it literally felt magical. Um, it definitely is such a luxury experience when you order, you know, when you get products from Pat McGrath, they definitely feel very, very, very high end. They look so nice. They feel nice. They're very weighted. And they're also pretty well packed too. Like it's not like ordering from Dior where you really get that that experience, but I find that Pat McGrath does pack orders quite well. Like definitely not like, not like Sephora. I'm not trying to throw shade, but Sephora does not pack orders well in my opinion. Um, Pat McGrath really does. However, it's such a catch 22 because Pat McGrath's website, you know, notwithstanding the big glitch, they do have much better sales than Sephora. That's no joke. The best Sephora ever does is 20% off, and, you know, that's not anything to write home about. Pat McGrath's website does up to 30% off, and that's significant. The problem is, is that shipping, when you order from her website, it just takes such a ridiculously long time. Okay, I'm not feeling too adventurous today. I really want to go into that red for some reason, but I think, no, I think I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go into that bronzy shimmer. I'm just going to take that on a finger in the very center. I will be doing more looks with these palettes. If you'd like to see a multiple looks, one palette, let me know. Uh, I just don't know how relevant that is given that this palette's been around for a while, but if you're interested, I would certainly be down to do something like that. I will certainly be playing with these a lot more. It's a bit of a goal of mine to actually do makeup on camera a lot more often. Um, but back to what I was saying, I feel like the shipping from Pat McGrath's website is just, it's not that great and I feel like their customer service team, I kind of feel like you never know what you're going to get to be honest. Like for example, so this glitch happened and I was fortunate enough to get my order. Some people, some people's orders got cancelled which I feel really bad for those people but then a lot of people did get their orders and none of this has happened to me but some people did get their orders, but then they got this message from Pat McGrath's website, like an email that was kind of like, they'd already received their order, but it said, you know, your order was processed um, after a technical error was discovered. Um, please feel free to come back and, and uh, shop our Bridgerton collection, which I thought was really weird because your website glitched. I, under I understand that really sucked from you know, a business point of view. Um, but why are you sending emails out like way after the fact? 
to people who have already received their order and who are now just kind of confused. Like, it was almost like, are you trying to make people feel bad? I don't know. But I mean, my order, it took a month to get here. I placed my order March 15th and I got it April, April 13th. So to me, that's just really not great shipping. It was just like, I have a hard time. I, I don't want to recommend you purchase these things during the Sephora sale because the sale's not as good, but I don't want to recommend you purchase from Pat McGrath's website because I think the website's awful. So it's really a catch-22. If you're willing to wait for shipping, definitely go through Pat McGrath. If you're like me and very impatient, just go through Sephora. Okay. I think I need to use one of these end shades and I really wanted to use this one but I think this one is kind of screaming to me and I want to put it right over top of that bronzy shimmer and this one is even really multi-dimensional like in the pan this one definitely has like a greeny pink shift this one's like a white icy but also green gold kind of thing it's a very interesting shade okay that took that to another level I'm glad I'm doing my eyes first. I feel like I'm getting quite a bit of fallout. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of fallout. Yeah, that uh, that definitely amped up the eye look. There is no doubt about that. Look how much that shimmer just amped up that bronze. <laughs> wow, the bronze looks dull in comparison. Okay, same thing on the other side. I did play with these yesterday. I actually used the Divine Rose 2 palette yesterday. And I thought it was really pretty. I went a little too high on that one. I'm just going to kind of blend a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, I played with Divine Rose 2 yesterday. And there's a duochrome shade in there that I played with. And it was really pretty. I'm not sure it's the most perfect uh, shade for all of the eyes. It's definitely not an everyday shade for me. But I thought it was pretty. But I knew, I knew bronze seduction would really interest me. Like, it's bronze, but it's such an interesting take on bronzy, on these neutral, everyday bronze shades. I'm very glad I did my eyes first. Okay, let me pop off camera, kind of clean this up a little bit, put on some mascara, and I'll be right back to get to the face. Okay, so I do want to prime with my Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer. However, I am just going to work on finishing up my little sample size that I had. So I know I like this primer and this is one, I don't know, like it's definitely a sample, but I think I might've got it in one of those sample bags that Sephora sometimes does. I'm probably using too much. This is one after a few uses, I knew I loved this primer. This is one that I would certainly put on if I was just, like if I wasn't even gonna wear makeup. And I just kind of wanted my skin to look smooth and healthy, have my pores blurred, all of the things. Like it just, it leaves your skin looking radiant, like it's got like a healthy glow to it, but it also blurs pores, like it's perfect. And I don't know why, I really don't hear anybody talk about it. I know that it is, I know it's a primer that's been around for a while and it's not, it's not an exciting primer. It is just a primer, but it's a good one. Okay, so before I go in with foundation, I am just going to spot conceal. I didn't buy a new concealer during the sale, so I'm just going in with my NARS Soft Matte Complete. I just have a couple of aggressive stress breakouts going on, so I'm just gonna cover those up. And with this, I like to just kind of pat it in. And I'm very excited to try the Dior foundation without the Milk Makeup Primer. That was a big mistake. So I tried that foundation for the first time yesterday, just off camera, just kind of doing my thing. And I wasn't a fan, but I think that was because <laughs> I've used it with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which I really don't like what I am trying to use up. Um, I just had a mini size and I really hate that primer. Um, okay, so we are using the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I picked up the shade 1 Neutral, which seems to be a perfect shade for me. Um, just taking a little bit on my palette. Yeah, that Milk Primer, I don't know. I have tried it so much. Let me show you the bottle. So this is the mini 
this is how much I have left. So I've obviously used a really good chunk of that product and it, it pills my foundation. doesn't matter what foundation I use. Okay. I'm just going with the sponge. Yeah. This shade is such a perfect match for me, I think. Oh yeah. That's performing way better. And how I ended up purchasing some Dior products was, I don't know. I just really wanted to try more from Dior and and this is the foundation that I really wanted. And honestly, I was just thinking it was going to be very similar to my beloved NARS Advanced Light Reflecting Foundation. And it definitely gives a very pretty glow to the skin. Like, I love how it looks on the skin. It does have a scent. It's not a very, very strong scent, but I'm just smelling it right now. And I don't know what the scent is. It's, I don't know, it kind of smells like paint little bit. I'm, I'm terrible at scents though. So like I could not describe perfume. I could not describe anything like that. Um, I'm thinking this, just looking at how this is going on. I'm kind of wondering if my shade match isn't right. It definitely looks better than it did yesterday. There's no doubt about that, but I'm kind of wondering if the shade's a little too yellow. I hate when brands do this. It's just kind of looking a little patchy. Yeah, it looks better. I like that it doesn't settle into any dry spots. That's a big thing. I noticed it wasn't settling into lines or dry spots. I did try putting this on with a brush. I didn't particularly love that. Yeah, this is definitely cooperating with the Dior primer much better than the Milk Makeup. So that is a plus. The shade, hmm, I don't think it's as good as I originally thought it was. It did pick up my concealer too. One thing I do like to do sometimes when I have concealer like this, I'll take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'll really just kind of feather out that concealer. I just find it helps blend a little easier. I did mess up a little bit when I purchased that concealer. I should have bought my foundation shade in NARS, which would have been Mont Blanc, but I bought Affogato, which is my under eye shade. It was my bad. This has kind of an interesting dry down. It almost kind of dries down initially, kind of like a soft matte, but with a radiance. That's kind of interesting. It's definitely kind of like a medium coverage. Yeah, I would definitely say this foundation is like a medium coverage. It's not one I am absolutely in love with right off the bat, but I don't dislike it either. Okay, just taking my trusty one size concealer just right under here. All right, concealer is on. I'm just going to set that with my trusty Pat McGrath powder. This is one product from Pat McGrath that I think is absolutely worth the splurge. This is such a good under eye powder. So now we're going to go into the Say Sun Melt Cream Bronzer. I have used this a few times and I love this. So this is the bronzer. I have the shade Light Bronze. And I'm taking my e.l.f. Uh, Putty Primer Blush. I love this for cream products. This is something I started doing because of Taylor Wynn, and she's right. It's phenomenal. So I'm just going to start bronzing the face. So I've said this before that I'm very picky about cream bronzers because I'm not always the biggest cream bronzer fan. But when I do purchase a cream product, what I want is something that is going to blend in easily, very easily without blending away, which I understand is a tall order, but this does that. And I've raved about the Rare Beauty bronzer stick because of that. This is good. This is so good. Okay. So we can see I went a little too crazy on this side and I'm not even worried about it because I know I can make it look okay. I'll just maybe add a little bit to this side to make it match but I know it's not gonna look like too much that's so nice that cream bronzer is just so good so 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 good I do want to add a tiny bit of powder bronzer just to kind of set it down which I don't normally do but I have a bronzer that is newer to my collection so I kind of want to play with them both and so if you saw my birthday haul I did pick up the makeup by Mario soft sculpt bronzer um, and of course I have the shade light, so I do just want to add just a touch of this, help that powder out, sorry, help the cream out just a little bit. I don't normally do both. 
but I love that this bronzer is really good. It's another one that is just amazing. For blush, I picked up a very bright shade of blush from Makeup by Mario. Also from Pat McGrath, I picked up the shade Cherish and the shades look very similar. Um, but the one I picked up from Makeup by Mario is the one I'm going to use today. This is the Soft Pop Powder Blush and this is in the shade Poppy Pink. So this is what it looks like. And I really love how his products look. I love the compacts. I think they're so pretty. I'm just tapping a little bit of that off in my hand because it is very bright. I just thought this shade, well at the time I ordered this shade it was unique to my collection but now I have Cherish as well so it's not. And look how pretty that looks. Like it brightens the cheeks. It definitely gives a very flushed look but it's not nearly as intimidating as it looks in the pan. And it just adds like a healthy blush to the cheeks. Okay, I think I'm just going to go in with powder and then we'll get into the highlight. But I'm just going to be using the Dior Powder No Powder. I really do flip between this one and the Kosas, but the Kosas is definitely my favorite. Alright guys, so my camera did cut me off, so I'm not 100% sure where I left off. But I did just use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlight. And then I did my brows. I didn't have anything new for that. So I just used the Benefit Precisely My Brow and my Kosas Airbrow. So that was all I did for that. Um, I was going to use my Project Pan brow pencil, but I really don't think I like it very much. So I just stuck to the Benefit for the purpose of keeping today's look where I like it. Let's get into the lips and then we are all done. So I did also line my lips quickly with the Lawless Forget the Filler Liner. I love that liner. That's my all-time favorite lip liner. So I did pick up the Makeup by Mario uh, Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream in the shade Almost Bare. Uh, I was going to use my Pat McGrath lipstick as well, but I think I really want to use this one again. I just really like it. So I've only used this once, but I really, really enjoyed it. So this is what the doe foot looks like. It's just a very simple kind of doe foot, but oh, this works really well with that liner. Okay. It smells kind of, kind of like vanilla. This went really well with that liner. Okay. Yeah, those went really well together. Um, yeah, this is like a beautiful, my lips fit better, kind of pinkier nude. I really love this so much. And it is so comfortable on the lips. It's definitely got that satin suede kind of a feel. It feels really, really nice. And that is it for today's look. So let's go over the products that we use. So first up, we use the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Palette. This is beautiful. I'm really happy with how my look came out, and I'm definitely very, very excited to play with more looks. I now really, really want to try that shade. I really want to play with that. Um, I could not believe the way this shade here just really amped up that bronze. That was, that was nuts, but... I'm really liking this so far. I really like how the look came out. The mattes are very, very punchy and pigmented. So just be aware of that if you're new to the shades. I feel like I should have known this from Celestial Odyssey, but just in case you are new to Pat McGrath, these are very, very, they're very pigmented. The primer, love, really, really like it. I just love the base that it creates for the makeup. It's just so illuminating and smoothing and it really does blur pores in my opinion. The Dior Forever Skin Glow. I'm still gathering my thoughts. On one hand, I like it because it is quite similar to my NARS foundation that I love so much, but I don't think it blends out quite as easily and I do find this shade pulls a little bit more yellow warm, which it drives me nuts when brands do that. I think it's a pretty close shade match, but it's not perfect. Um, However, I like it. I like the glow it gives the skin, and I'll definitely continue to test it out. Let me know if you want a full wear test, because I will definitely do a two-day wear test on this guy. Okay, what else? Okay, the Say Cream Bronzer. Big fan of this. I have been loving this cream bronzer. I love how easily it blends out. You guys saw I went a little overboard on this side, but the way it blended out, it just looked so nice. I have really, really been loving this. 
the Makeup by Mario bronzer, the Soft Sculpt bronzer. Also really enjoying this. This is a really, really nice bronzer in general. I have, I was really, really into the LYS bronzer for a while, but this one, I like the tone of it more, so this one has surpassed that. This blush, really nice formula, very, very bright. I do kind of want to try it out in some lighter shades, but I do, I am happy that I picked up this shade in particular because it's definitely unique to my collection and it definitely gives the cheeks a very, very rosy glow. You do not need too much, but it's definitely not as intimidating as it looks in the pan. Just go in with a light hand and you'll be fine. And the last new product that, that I believe I used is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lip Cream. Love this. Absolutely love this. This is beautiful. The color is beautiful. This Again, this is the shade Almost Bare. The color of this one is perfect. It's very similar, in my opinion, to Pillow Talk, but I like it better. I like the feel of this better, and the wear time is really, really good. So this lasted a few hours on me yesterday, and I really, really like it. And again, it is so comfortable. It's like a My Lips But Better, almost kind of leaning rosy, but it just looks really, really pretty. It feels so nice. I, I can't get over how much I like this, and I almost passed on this. But those are all of the new things I wanted to test out with you guys today. So thank you so very much for watching. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. And that's it for me today. Thank you again so very much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.